Hey folks, we're here today at the Insane Audio Shop in beautiful June Lake, California to show you how to navigate with Insane Nav Engine. Insane Nav Engine is Insane Audio's custom navigation solution. It has all kinds of rad features other navigation applications just don't have, like offline navigation, 3D topography, brewery locations and OHV trailheads, the ability to search along routes for gas stations, custom vehicle markers, and onboard trail maps. Insane Nav Engine is super powerful, but using it is a little different than other navigation applications you might be familiar with. So today we're going to go over some of the basics, like navigating to a city, navigating to a specific address, to a point on the map, and to a GPS coordinate. Are you ready to get crazy with Insane Nav Engine? Come on, let's go! Here's how to use Insane Nav Engine to navigate to a city. How about Las Vegas? Tap Destination. Here's where things get a little different than other navigation apps. Instead of a single search field, Nav Engine breaks the location down into layers, starting broad and moving towards specifics. Now since we're navigating to a city, you might be tempted to tap Find Places, but we're actually going to tap Find Address. Because Insane Nav Engine works all over the world, the field to select your state is actually labeled Country. The input field is already selected, so I'll just start typing the destination. Nav Engine's predictive keyboard narrows down the options as you type to make entering your location faster. Since Nevada is the only state that starts with NEV, that's all you have to type. Next tap City. Start typing in your destination city. Since I've searched for Las Vegas before, Nav Engine auto-completes Las Vegas after typing just one letter. Pretty cool, right? Now tap the green check mark to select the city. Since we're just navigating to a city in general, we'll skip the street field and just tap Select City. Next, we see the destination we've entered on the map, so we can confirm that we're navigating to the right place. Everything looks good, so I'll tap Go. Next, we see a route overview. We can either tap Go again, or wait for the countdown to automatically start navigating. Here we go! If at any point you want to stop navigating, tap Menu, tap Route Options, then tap Cancel Route. Navigating to an address is pretty similar to navigating to a city. We just use a couple more fields to include the street address. Let's navigate to the Transamerica building in San Francisco. Tap Destination, tap Find Address, Tap country and enter the state. Tap city and enter city, San Francisco. Tap street and enter the street name, Montgomery. Tap house number and enter the street address, 600. Tap the green check mark and then tap go. Here's how to navigate to a point on the map. First tap Destination, then tap Find on Map. Tap and drag to move the map view. Pinch to zoom out and spread to zoom in. Find and tap the location on the map you want to navigate to. How about Yosemite Valley? Tap Select and then tap Go. Here's how to navigate to a GPS coordinate. First tap Destination, then tap More. Tap Coordinate. Clear the Latitude field by tapping the red delete arrow. Let's go to Tea Kettle Junction in Death Valley. Enter the Latitude coordinates, then clear the Longitude field by tapping the red delete arrow. Enter the Longitude coordinates. You can also select to enter the coordinates in the UTM format in the More menu. Tap Done. We see the destination we've entered on the map, so we can confirm that we're navigating to the right place. Everything looks good, so now I'll tap Go. Nav Engine will let you know if part of the route is unpaved, and this one definitely is. Tap OK, and we're on our way.